ghostly greetings, my dudes. Ghostly greetings. And you were hollering at your boy, Prue. My grandma gave me a small box of books. I already took the books out. But she gave me a small box of books. And we're going to go through them right now. Actually, though, if you've heard of these and you're into these, let me know. Um, but I got Jean or Jean M. Aoul. But the land of the painted caves, basically what I call the clan of the cave bear. I've got six books. We dropped one. And uh, I'm not going to lie, that's a lot of book. They're like 800 pages a piece. There's six of them. These are nowhere near my TBR pile. That's a lot of book, though. That's a lot of book. Grandma, thank you so much. I know those series mean a lot to you, so I'm going to keep them. And I will read those. The proverbial one day where I will read all of the books that I own. You haven't seen my library. It is so exponentially. I got books just stacked on the floor. It's driving me fucking bananas. I can't, can't keep buying fucking books. But I got another book haul to film after this because I bought more books and I run out of space. I keep buying space, but I get stressed out. And the only way I can de-stress is to buy more books. I buy more books and I run out of space. I get to be stressed. And it's an endless fucking cycle. I get stressed because I have no room for books. I can't handle it. I go to de-stress. I go out to the store. So I buy more books. I de-stress. I bring home the more books. I stack them on the floor. I'm stressed again. It's an endless vicious cycle. I need help. Please stop me. <laughs> but, Grandma, thank you so much. That's awesome. And I will read those one day, I promise. It's just not looking good for a while. Next up, a book I did read was called Dinosaurs. This is like 100 pages. It's got pictures. So, of course, I fucking loved it. It's short with pictures of dinosaurs. And I actually learned a little bit. I already knew most of this. This is a great children's book. I went to put this on Goodreads. But Goodreads didn't have it. I tried the scan and nothing popped up. So if you think about this dinosaur book, let me know. Um, yeah, but I read this. Do you want a review of the dinosaur book? If I get four yeses, I will review this 100-page dinosaur book. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave it alone because I literally read this in like an hour less than that while my in-laws were bitching about politics and i don't do politics i mean don't get me wrong i have certain views and everything like everybody else does that i support but i just don't argue about them i'm more concerned about this stegosaurus fucking getting his fucking plant and here's something i didn't know a stegosaurus has a brain technically in his ass i know this is untrue this has been disproven but for the longest time i believed a stegosaurus had a brain in his ass that controlled body temperature for regulating like intake and bio intake I thought that was true, so for the longest time, they called him a butt brain, which is why this is one of my favorite dinosaurs, because I need that. A brain in my ass. Great. Awesome. I also got Mark Bailey's The Saint. I've never heard of Mark Bailey, but this looks like a cool cover. It's a uh, religious book, or a religious undertone book, and my grandma is very, of course, religious. She's very, very devout Christian, uh, grandma-in-law, I should say, and... Uh, so she gave me that. So that one's actually the highest on the list. Because I already read the Double Run of the Dinosaurs. Nostradamus predicts the end of the world. I like Nostradamus. I do. I think these are fun and these are cool to read. But that's just sort of like a toilet book. You can pick up, put it down, put it up, put it down. Nothing crazy. Nothing amazing. Next up I got the when, when the Wind Blows by James Patterson. She thought I would like this. I don't know because, well... I, I don't know how to say this, but there's certain people that I refer to as old people authors, like Clive Cussell, James Patterson, stuff like that, um, that a lot of the elderly group that I know read, uh, Brad Thor or something like that, but a lot of the elderly that I know read these books. So in my area, which is a high elderly community, there's a lot of old people in Franklin County, Missouri. It's a very good retirement community. There's a lot of James Patterson and those kind of authors floating around. And if you're into them, no harm to you. No talking shit. Hey, I fucking love the fucking Lee Child uh, Reacher stuff. So I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm old myself. But that's not for me. But you're into that stuff. There's a lot of that around here. So James Patterson, thank you. And this was from a friend. Book six in the Immortal Instruments series. She had the others. And she accidentally double bought this book. And she goes, I tried to sell it on Facebook, but no one cared. So she just gave it to me. And as you can see, there's like over a dozen books in the series. And this is book six. I've read the first. I think I've read 
nine out of 12 of the books featured on the back. But I'm not just a super big YA kid. I mean, I got nothing against YA. I do. I have a lot against YA. YA is not for me anymore. I'm not young adult. I am adult. In fact, I'm saying I'm more of old adult to old adult, being that the James Patterson book. Uh, but yeah, not super into it. Not me. But awesome sauce. But this has been your boy, Prue, guys. That's been my small book haul. So thank you again, Grandma, for all these awesome books. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to read these anytime soon. Five likes, I will review this dinosaur book. I'm going to set it up here, right below Jurassic Park, because it has a Tyrannosaurus on the cover. Five likes, if I get five likes, I will review that dinosaur book. Also, if you want to like the video and don't want me to review the dinosaur book, just that's fine too. It's literally 100 pages of pictures of dinosaurs. I know what all you want. But it's been your boy Brew, guys. Stay creepy. Deuces.